Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared and I've got Braxton next to me. And today we're gonna show you what a broken reed pedal looks like and feels like and sounds like. So uh, a couple weeks ago, we were at Maple Shade, a local motocross track, took Braxton and his brother riding. And Braxton's like, my bike doesn't feel right. And I could kind of tell by looking at it, but I'm like, nah, it's just you, you're not used to the track. You've never ridden here, different different track, never been there. So um, we rode yesterday as well, and the same, same thing, he's telling me, God, yeah, the bike's not running good, and I can kind of tell and on his home tracks, so I'm like, all right, something's wrong with it. What do you think, Braxton? Well, like, what is wrong with it is I'm coming out of a corner, and like, usually it stays high in the RPMs, and it goes smooth, and it goes out. No, instead it like, bogs down super low, then I'll... sudden gives a ton of power when I'm like not where I want it I guess because the throttle hasn't changed any all of a sudden it just takes off yeah on you. okay just... and so I took you to the shop today and I um, told dad I'm like dad there's gas in the in the car boot I had cleaned the carburetor by the way and because there was some gas under it the one night I'm like oh just a leaky carb needs to be cleaned out no problem well that didn't that didn't help it at all so uh, dad's like no your reed pedals are cracked I'm like oh I didn't even think of that so what's happening is the carbs putting gas into the engine Compression stroke, it's blowing it back out into the air boot. So I'll put some still shots in there now because uh, the bike is broken. I put it back together broken so we can get try to get some footage for you guys. We're going to try to mimic what happens. Right. And then we have, luckily, I have a brand new reed pedal right here. And we will install it and then we'll ride it again and see what you think. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, get you gear, or you're geared up. Let's go ride and show you guys what's going on. So another symptom of a cracked reed pedal for you guys at home is going to be that it's harder to start. And we did notice that, like the last couple of rides, he hasn't been able to start it as easy because it's letting compression back out through the carb. So go ahead and try to start it. This is with the cracked reed pedal, and we'll see if it starts. Nothing. See, hard to start. And in a normal world, that would have fired right up already. Yeah. Haven't ridden it yet today. So I am going to help you start it. I will get on it. And what I was doing yesterday to make a start is I was crack. So maybe try it. Crack your throttle wide open. Yep. And then try it. See what happens. All right. I will help you do it right now. Let me. Let's I think I think why I can start it is that um, I have a stronger leg than you. And that's what's overcoming the fact that it. So this is a pretty simple replacement. This is the new one with the new pedals on it, and that's what we're that's what happened to us is those pedals are failing, and we'll show you in a second here. And we did a couple laps on it because I don't recommend you keep riding the bike with failed reed pedals if you know it, because they're chunking off and going into your motor. So that's what we're going for. The bike is really hot. He just got done riding it, but it's pretty simple to do this. There's enough room for me if I loosen both clamps on both the car boot and then the intake there, I can unscrew those and I can kind of pull that carb out without having to undo the whole subframe. I mean, it's not that much more work. Take the silencer off, your subframe bolts, you would tip it up, I guess, seat, gas tank. So there, there's like 10 more bolts, five more minutes worth of work, but I can just steal the carb off the side. And then there's just these four bolts here that are holding the cage on. So we will remove it real quick. Uh, we're gonna let it cool down for a second. We'll grab some water and then we will come back and uh, show you guys what happened. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. All right, we said we were gonna let it cool down, but we didn't, we lied. We just wanted to get it done. It's actually pretty easy. There's not much hot on this side of the motor. Last bolt just came out and this is just the boot. Nothing wrong with that. But this is where we've got some issues. It's right here. And you'll see this side isn't too bad. It's just the top corners are kind of chipped there and there, but this side, we have a big old gaping hole right here. And so this reed pedal is letting the gas come back through and I can feel inside. It's not too wet because he only rode it for like one or two laps, but the longer he would have ridden it, the more gas would have puddled on the inside of the lower intake boot between the carb and the air box. But it's a little wet in there, but it's not like it was, right? Because when I got to the shop, took the air filter, I was like, holy smokes, there's kind of like a puddle in there. So this is the broken one. And really all we're going to do is just going to slide the new one back in and we'll reassemble the carb. All right, you turn your gas back on. We had the gas off because the fuel line was totally disconnected. Let's see if it's any easier for you to start now that it's a... Uh... Yeah, way better. <laughs> I'd say it's running better for sure. You didn't even ride it yet. Yeah, but I can already tell. Can you can already tell? Yeah. You literally, I, I filmed you taking off around the house and I turned it off and then I heard you come back down the driveway over here. It's better, huh? Yeah. Is the bike back? Yeah. That is so cool. I'm happy for you. Oh, All right, yeah. let's go. I mean, you didn't even ride it yet, but I could tell when you took off too. Like, you took off and you kind of looked back at me like... I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude, go do some... Uh, go ride. I'll just film you. Alright guys, here's his broken V-Force reed pedal. And as you could take off, you could see it in his helmet, his eyes, his face. He was super excited that his bike was back to where it should be. So if you guys have a bike that's running kind of crappy, uh, hard to start, you notice gas in your in your car boot there, maybe try uh, reed pedals. It's easy to check. We didn't even take the subframe or the seat off on this thing. We snuck it right out. So if you guys find the video fun or helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We're a family-oriented dealership. We love to ride, and we'll see you at the track.